Good morning. Good morning. We're, so We're so glad, glad you're, you're here. here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, come back tomorrow. Feels good to say that again. <laughs> Peter, what did you just do? <laughs> um, I did something I didn't think I was going to be able to do this morning. I signed up for a 50 mile run next August in Canada. And not just any 50 mile run. And a 50K run. Back to back. Back to back. So. 82 like. miles. 81 miles in two days. Through a forest preserve. Yeah. In Squamish, British Columbia. Yeah. Squamish 50-50. Peter! And it's the 10th anniversary of it. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I mean, more, <laughs> more training vlogs than ever. Go! Go, Dad, go! Mm -hmm. James is telling you that it is a very big day. Do you know why, Jamesy? The Chris Kindle market's open today. He's got lots to say. And the tree gets a little bit. Millennium Park tonight. It's, it's, it feels wrong to see you in dino jammies. I feel like you need to be in Christmas ones. to come to the Wrigley Chris Kindle Market on Peter's lunch just so that we can go to both on opening day. All right, so they have ice skating here, which is super cool. It's actually, it's a decent size. Oh, it even looks like there's, there's some more booths over there. So that's good to know for the future. We are on the hunt. For a hot ham and cheese. Yeah. Okay, we found our sandwiches. This is their menu. Holy smokes. Alright, got some hot slider. Got the first hot ham and cheese, rat cat. We do have to kind of zip back <laughs> to our apartment. Bears to go to the dentist and I have to go in a meeting in like 26 like minutes. Lunch yeah. And ooh, that's cool. There's so many booths. But we'll be back. We'll be at this, the Christmas market. This tonight. would have been perfect for the uh, pajamas with all the, with the air hearts at the Christmas after hours. <laughs> yeah. But we'll be back here at night time. Yeah. But we're not tonight, we'll, we're going. And we really take our time. We didn't even plan on coming here today, no, so this, this is just a, a bonus. This, we came for these. Yeah. Hello, it is a chilly one. Um, I'm walking back from the dentist. I, like I said in yesterday's video, trying to get up on our routine doctor's appointments. So both Peter and I have gone to the dentist. We both need our wisdom teeth out. I will have to wait until after the baby is born, but Overall, I had a really good appointment, and not to say I was, I was surprised, but I was kind of surprised. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. Just a casual Grinch painting on the side of Moe's Cantina. So a ton of bars over here really do it up for Christmas. I feel we like just it was one of those situations where like one did it, yeah, and the other ones like we can show them. <laughs> and now it's, like a it's whole awesome. This is and then there's just like yeah, we're on Clark. 
There's sluggers dueling pianos, the famous dueling pianos here. Probably there. Um, Probably and then Rudolph's is around the corner, which is Christmas all year long. But, but some sure they're like, you guys are lame, like coming in Christmas in November, like we're Christmas all year long. <laughs> but we will, maybe when we do our little Christmas night out, we'll get a, our babysitter, we'll cover and we'll go to some of these. <laughs> First destination, made. James, they had a terrible night's sleep last night, and he wouldn't nap today. Um, so we kind of figured that he would sleep once he got snug in his... Are there carolers? There's carolers? Or it might be music. I think it's just music, but we might have carolers. We're on Block 37. I love it here in Christmas. So Block 37, the former site of the State Street Disney Store. <laughs> but look at... Actually, remember, they actually typically do have carolers here. I know, so I'm not Maybe they're here. And Looney Tunes. And the trumpets are out. And I did see a window, a Marshall Fields window, on State Street. They don't go on this side. All right, so we've made it to Millennium Park. This is where the home of the tree has been moved, what, like six years ago, something like that? It's been a while uh, now. Yeah, it's been a while. It used to be at the Daily Plaza where Chris Kendall Mark is, which we're going to after this. Yay! But right now, you can see this very dark tree. We're going to try to get it to like, sneak into a better spot. We've got 30 minutes. Yeah. We got, that tree we got a nice good space over it's here. It's the Chicago tree. Yeah. It's going to get lit up for Christmas. For Peter and I's very first day. We came to see the tree. The tree then was in the Christmas in the market. We went to Marshall Fields and we watched like a like a little Christmas concert, like kids singing. Yeah. So this always has me nostalgic for that. I Thirteen was very years cold. ago. Thirteen years ago? Ooh. Yeah. We're getting old. He's so snug. We were like next to those drummers and he stayed a slave. That's I was like how exhausted we he is. Finish this jam. Like I love <laughs> I love like street drummers, but for the life of me, I was like, please just finish this riff and let my baby sleep. <laughs> All right, two minutes until this tree here gets lit. We've been boxed in. There's lots of people here now, but I also don't think there's a before we've been to this where there's like ceremony. The mayor was here. The voice of Jesse from Toy Story was here. I forgot her name. That's why I just said Jesse. What's your name? <laughs> but, don't use that, don't use that, yes. don't use that. Uh, but I think this year they're just flipping the switch. Or a minute away. You don't know, it could surprise you. I saw it playing go really low. We were wrong, it was 30 minutes later. So, here we are at 6.30. Krampus. We are. I just, I've been sitting here while Peter was at the ATM, just watching people's reactions to all the Krampus. But we need to get food before yeah. we go peruse all of the carts. No, I'm a little scared. Food. Going up. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should stay here or somewhere with the high top, and I go wait for the food, and you come near one of the high tops over here. There's my potato soup. Peter got a bratwurst, sauerkraut. This is agulia. It's a smoked spicy sausage. Mm -hmm. And I got curry sausage. And just like food and wine, we're eating by trash can. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is we're gonna do this quick, and then we're gonna go get like our our special things, like a pretzel, a sweet and a savory pretzel, and then more hot wine. This is the life I always wanted at Chris Kendall Market. Yeah. Hot wine. <laughs> German Pilsner, my baby eating some potato soup. Yeah, <laughs> I got the soup. I've been dipping the bread in it for him. So delicious. He's a toasty little nugget. <laughs> he is. So it's a little bit of a absolute chaos, but we got stuffed gourmet pretzels. We both got cheesecakes. You cannot see Sarah whatsoever. There she is. <laughs> we got cheesecakes. James is still awake. 
Um, so we're gonna eat these and then we're gonna ditch. And we'll come back. It's the, just the beginning of the season. This is gonna be. We're gonna come back at least ten times here. No, we're gonna come at least twenty times overall. The mix between this one and Wrigley, I'm not sure, but at least twenty visits overall. It's gonna be the new Disney Springs. This is my sad duty to not be cheersing one of those with you tonight. Cheers. I can't believe pomegranate is this year's flavor. I'm gonna go make my own spritzer. Didn't even really get to show my cute sweater off tonight because I was all bundled up. Um, I'll show you guys the holiday spritzer. I showed it in our Instagram story and. It couple of people, you know, messaged and said, what is a holiday spritzer? Um, basically, it's any bubbly drink plus either cranberry juice or orange juice or pomegranate juice. Pomegranate is my jam. Um, apple juice? Any kind of juice plus something bubbly. So I'll show you what I've been making. Oi! We bought plain Canada Dry. They actually have great cranberry flavored ginger ale too. I love any cranberry flavored pop, truly, but it is nice to make them your own. Side note, cranberry syrup mist will forever be the superior holiday pop. I don't know why they've taken it off the shelves. I remember there was like, in Florida we found it at Publix like a fluke. And again, like we go to the Pepsi distribution website and try and find it and we can't. If you happen to find cranberry syrup mist on your shelves, message us, well first buy it, message us, and we will pay you and then some to ship it to our PO box because there's just nothing else like it. And my whole family searches for it every single year. It's like, I don't know, a golden delicacy. Um, so if you haven't tried it, I'm sorry because it's it was so good. But if you find it, drop everything and message us. I have to show off my nice fancy tall glasses that we got specifically for fancy drinks. It is mostly, mostly ginger ale. Our kitchen is a wreck, as you can see behind me. Um, but that's just where we're at with our Christmas decorating. Honestly, I don't know if we're like quite even able to show you guys. We've done a lot, but like a lot of stuff like still needs to find homes. And like Christmas is just like, like just a beast. And we, we got a ton of my mom's stuff. And so there's just a lot of things that like didn't have a place before. So like things are not where they should be behind me. Um, but just to finish up with my little drink, I give this a big old thing of cranberry juice because I feel like I probably use cranberry juice the most. So you can't even see it. A decent splash of that. It's basically to the top. I probably put a little bit too much um, ginger ale in there. This is the coloring, like almost, it's probably like this much. And then when I'm feeling really fancy, I add a splash of pomegranate juice. This stuff is not cheap, but it's worth it. And this packs a lot of punch. And then, I'm gonna make sure, make sure I don't spill. A festive straw. So we know these items are staying up here. We're gonna put our stockings up there. Like I said, like we're kind of, I, I have stuff to show, but it's just like, not totally done. This is one of my favorite photos ever of Peter and my dad. Christmas tree. <laughs> Chopping down. Excuse me. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Obviously we have our beautiful garland and our lights. <laughs> Up on top of the billy is some classic Christmas books. And this is one of my biggest treasures that I got from my mom. She actually made it for her mom 
and then when her mom passed away, she got it, and then I got it. And it's Santa praying over baby Jesus. Isn't it so cute? And then up here, another treasure for my mom. This is all his home picture. What are you doing, Philip? It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> We got a little Thanksgiving corner and this windowsill. They've been chasing each other around like crazy buffoons. Cool shirt, bro. Bailey, bro. You happy, girl? <laughs> you love the thrill? And then the dining room has our countdown and CDs and little books. Um, our Christmas cards are going to go in there this year. Something different. I set up this spode tablescape but the table currently has all of our little mix and match um canisters and i don't know just need to get this situated there's a lot of like i said like odds and ends gotta get gotta get situated where those are and i actually won't even show you the kitchen until probably after this weekend because we're gonna have to do some rearranging. We'll eventually like display it on this table, almost like a little bar cart, but like just have our little fancy spode glasses. Right now, um, these are, this is like where I've been prepping some of James' birthday get together things. These were used for his cake and coffee, but we're actually having another get together like for um, like my cousins and aunts and uncles and some friends this weekend so that's where this i mean this is just here because i think we're gonna hang these up here but i think this is going to become like a little bar cart and then all of our festive towels are under there but this is going to be a work in progress until after our busy weekend but i will show you the cute magnets of my mom's that made it on our fridge this cute little pot holder and then these are also staples from her kitchen as well. I think I'm going to um, tie these strings a little bit longer so that they can fall underneath. But pretty cute. And now we have the Believe pillow on this bench. And I think this is my favorite. This is actually um, a Norman Rockwell Santa I got from my grandma. She had collected these and all the grandkids got them. And I've always just loved this. It's... It's, it's showing you that Christmas is over and Santa is just relaxing on December 26th. And then I got this little print for Peter for Christmas last year, Miracle on 34th Street. And some last little things is our jingle bells on the, on the doorknob. This little print actually hung in my mom's house all year round. Um, so we brought it out for Christmas. And then this little wreath, another Another, ooh, we also hung that up over there. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Um, this is another gem of my mom's. On Jamesy's bedroom door, we always like to have some sort of festive wreath on here. Um, and that's, and that's really, that's all we got going on for right now. I was thinking we're gonna buy a couple, like, maybe a little bit more Christmas decorations just to like fit this apartment. Yeah, our neighbors upstairs are having a They are, they're having a get together. Um, I think we should buy garland for every single wall. Yeah, we really like this garland. It's from Target. It's good to be home. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I mean, it is, but um, <laughs> I got James down. Sarah's been editing. I hope tonight's better. I really just think this is like one year sleep regression. I think Sit. it was the, the. I think it was a lot of stuff. The lunar eclipse, like you said. <laughs> and his teeth. Yeah. So his nose is better, so. Yeah. We have a very busy and exciting day tomorrow that we will mm -hmm. cliffhang you until then. Um, but we have an early start. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.